New Bathroom Renovation Ideas Top 7 Tips for Planning or Renovate Your Perfect Bathroom Design Just keep watching Be one of the HD Interiors family to make your home vibrant HD Interiors channel is your way to build a contemporary home Few rooms in your house are as important for making the most of your precious downtime as your bathroom. This private space is one where you can relax in the bath after a long day at work with zero distractions. But beginning a bathroom project can be daunting, particularly if you've never undertaken one before. Don't worry though, this video will be your complete guide to having a unique and perfect bathroom design. Whether you are looking to give an existing bathroom a new lease of life or wanting to create a new bathroom from scratch, our list of top tips for planning the perfect bathroom will help ensure you hit the ground running. The first step is define a budget. First and foremost, start by defining a budget for your forthcoming bathroom rejuvenation. While it's a rather sensible and slightly boring aspect to focus on first, it is inevitably a factor that will determine the rest of your entire project. A definitive Carefully considered budget will enable you to prioritize both where to spend and where to save. Nobody is saying that your budget has to be set in stone, but it is a very good indicator of what your total project can realistically run to. Moreover, there's no reason why you can't splurge on a few luxuries, like a massive bathtub, providing you can make savings elsewhere. Number 2. Weigh up what you really want. B.S. What you really need. With your budget set, the next step is to figure out your main priorities. If the bathroom you are planning will be the main family bathroom in your home, chances are it's going to need a bath, a shower, a sink, and ample storage. But if it's a much more modest ensuite bathroom, maybe you can get away with just a shower cubicle and a loo. The bottom line is that while there will be components you really want, that enormous bathtub, for example, you should really prioritize the elements you really need instead. Number 3. Seek inspiration. Maybe, you're not really sure what you want, need, and need some creative inspiration. There's nothing wrong with that, we often don't know what design styles we like until we see them in the flesh this is where showrooms glossy magazines and even your friends bathrooms come in don't decide on a layout or style until you're 100 percent happy or as close to 100 percent as you're going to get it may be that your taste doesn't draw you to a particular style and you simply pick and mix ideas you like to create the perfect bathroom for you regardless you'll likely still need that creative inspiration to get your imaginary juices flowing number four be realistic this point kind of touches on the preceding three in that you can only achieve what your space, budget, and imagination will let you. If you pine for features that you can't have because they are out of your price range or simply won't fit, you'll end up feeling hard done by even if your finished bathroom is absolutely gorgeous. 
that's why you need to be realistic and appreciate that there are things you won't be able to have from the start sure you can try and cram stuff in but you will probably live to regret it further down the line when you are bumping your head on the sink because you don't even have adequate room to dry yourself number five nail your layout and plan with your budget defined list of requirements compiled and suitable inspiration drawn from a number of sources it's time to begin laying out the basics if you are renovating an existing bathroom ask yourself if you really need to move the bath shower sink and toilet if you do be aware that it will incur additional costs as you'll need to also move the corresponding water waste pipes too if you are building a bathroom from scratch consider what it's going to be like to use once it is finished for example picture yourself laying in the bath if you're going to have one will the toilet bowl be right next to you it might be if you're cramming in too much number six remember ventilation is very important if you overlook the ventilation in your bathroom you'll regret it later that's because poor ventilation in a room that contains a lot of moisture is a recipe for disaster not only will you likely experience a buildup of mold on your walls you'll also have the headache of constant condensation on your windows, mirrors, and shower cubicles. One of the simplest and most cost-effective ways to ensure your bathroom has adequate ventilation is by installing an opening roof light. Steam from hot baths and showers rises, which is why roof lights are so good when it comes to bathroom ventilation. Also, unlike May exhaust fans, they are completely silent while they are removing all that unwanted moisture. If your bathroom has a sloping roof, a design favorite is to have two roof lights that face each other and meet at the apex of the roof. An opening pitched roof window would be perfect for this. number seven create the right mood with color in the same way that lighting helps create a certain ambiance in a bathroom so too does the color you choose for your walls if you're aiming to create a relaxing spa-esque atmosphere consider using warm colors like reds purples and browns if you're looking for something a lot fresher that leaves you feeling energized before a long day at work consider crisp white decor pale blues or yellows remember that it's not just your walls that will add color bathroom suites wooden cabinets and tiles all add their own color splashes